June 2015, on the 19th, came back home, I started feeling headache. Spread over it. Felt that it was just a normal illness. 1 a.m., I have to wake my wife. Take him to General Hospital. Getting to General Hospital to see the doctor, he could not even say something again. And when I tried to communicate, is either he will smile or he will not his head. He told me that there is no space. All the rooms are filled up. Wanting to find out if the daughter is in the church. She said the husband is in the hospital. He could read general speech. I said, wow, okay, I'm on my way. I saw Bromonde sitting on the bench, bent over. So I moved closer. He was just staring at me. Fear started coming in. Find out that his, his face is tilted towards his left hand. He wasn't conscious. And there was twitching at, the, at one of his nerves. It seems it's a sign of stroke that we need to act fast. He just mentioned an hospital. I had Murphy, you know, raised him up. We found out that he could not stand on his feet. People began to, to say, hey, yeah. He was limping, he couldn't move. He was not even moving any of his legs. Getting closer to the hospital, the breathing just, <laughs> And he stretched. Foam started coming out from his mouth. His tongue came out of his mouth. Like, I don't know if you slaughter a goat. He stretched and passed away. That was how it just went off like that. The wife screamed. The wife cried. Honey, no, you can't do this to me. Thank God we go to the hospital. By then he has gone. Saliva from have started coming out. So we're pointing his chest. Doing a lot of, you know, a lot of activities was going on. And then I started praying. No type of prayer I did not make that day. Just to revive him. This man just to go like this, just like that. Then I convulsed again. He was breathing heavily. And they were just like Adastika. I was just mad already. When he saw the situation, she ran out. Calling doctor. Doctor arrived. He said, you bring the life support. They put him on life support. We couldn't do anything at that point. We just went out and we started praying. For me, I'm a Muslim, really. And I have the faith and I was in fasting. I saw myself sitting down. A strange man came telling me, ah, you don't belong here. What are you doing among these people? Go back to where you are coming from. So at midnight, they now decided to transfer him to the world. There was blood coming out from his mouth and his nose. Doctor's explanation, he said by the, that time he took the last breath that he used his teeth to grip his tongue. Then there was a deep cut. Blood was, deep, thick blood, the face swollen up. The state I saw him in, I'd never seen him that way before. There was dried blood on his face. And so I asked my mom what happened. She even refused to talk to me. I knew she was very, very angry with me. That like if only I was there, this would have not happened. And so we started crying together. Pastor was praying, rolling on the floor, shouting in the car park. Murphy was praying. I, you know, he was even vibrating. I just felt a voice just told me that it is okay, that he will leave. Pastor now called me and said he had a conversation with the doctor that um, it's a 50-50 chance for my friend. Death 50% and you're giving life 50%. She said yes. I said okay. That means you're giving God 50% and giving Satan 50% of this man's life. Even if this man comes alive, that the best he will be will be a vegetable. He'll be partially paralyzed. I open my eyes. Murphy, your, your brother has uh, woken up. He's okay now. I said wow. The wife called me that they have taken the first meal. Another fear would just be, will this man would still be normal? Daddy, today is my birthday. And I said, happy birthday. When I open my eyes, I find myself on the hospital bed. And the person I saw was my daughter. What is happening? Where is your mother? Why are you putting food in my mouth? Said, you have been here for many days. They now did uh, their test, did everything, and said maybe it has uh, even affected his uh, brain. We went for the scan. The, the result was okay. I was how God did the miracle for me. And uh, since then, it has been okay, perfectly okay.